this is uh, uh I'm going through the Tamoqua Indians again uh, of North Florida and Central Florida also. This is what I typed in and it's glad I'm uh, it's great that I um uh, I'm on the second videos to show up and some more of my videos are brought out. Excuse me, the Devil's Mill Hopper is not too far from here. I'm going to watch that video and bring it out. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this may be Payne's Prairie. I just passed by there the other day. Um, I was going to get out and get footage of it, but just as we pulled up and started raining, you know, the Calumash Forest might go there. Micanope, Florida is literally a five minute drive from where I'm at. Okay, I'm gonna watch some of all of this. Man. I ain't gonna lie, brothers and sisters. A lot of people wear their hair like this, including me. And uh, through the video, said that most were joined with the Seminole Indians. And keep it real with you, my grandpa's a Seminole. Um, but my grandmother says that her great grandmother was, excuse me, not her great grandmother, but her grandmother was Cherokee. And, uh, I was. I've also looked up at the Yamasi tribes who are here. But um I'm gonna just watch this video. St. John's River is not far. Loose the Native Americans. It's a move when I okay, I'm gonna watch some of all of this. Archer, Florida is like literally ten minutes outside of Gainesville. But uh yeah, before I show you this video, um, just know that this is St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, that's the original image, I believe. Um, just know that these are the Aboriginal people and that images. This is what it is. All that, uh, they show you light skin pictures most of the time, but those may as well be brothers and sisters or they just lighten it up. I brought off uh, Fort Caroline in one of my other videos. I just go through descriptions of uh, our notice Montana tonight. They are one of the more peaceful tribes in the Great Columbia Tribe. Although they would fight when provoked, it is believed that the typical tribe were the first Native Americans to see Spanish explorers. Once again, we bring this out. I have a pure Spanish name. Um, I'm not going to keep saying it out like that, but. Uh, Spanish middle and first name. And I'm not Spanish. I'm not a Mexican. I'm not uh, I don't know why people keep saying I'm uh, Puerto Rican or Dominican. I believe they say Dominican, but I'm not that. In fact, the Spanish explorers learned and used the Spanish language to communicate with the other Native American tribes throughout Florida. The Tiramon tribe were quite intimidating to the Spanish explorers. They were much taller than the explorers. Even the women displayed extreme fitness, seen crossing rivers holding their babies over their heads. The Tiramon wore clothes of the land, deer skin loin cloths for the men, and outfits made of moss for the women. Once again, I'm going to keep saying this. Uh, a lot of niggas wear their hair like that. Even when it's dreads, but these are horse tails and raccoon tails, a part of the self esteem spot located on the top of the head. I'm gonna bring out phrenology sooner or later, but um, just they they say ponytail, but when you say ponytail, a lot of niggas say I ain't no show pony, but you know how I go. However, they were heavily decorated with shells, 
stones, and even tattoos. The Tinnaquara received tattoos by digging shells and shark teeth into their skin, followed by filling the wound with stains from berries. The Tinnaquara often fell ill after getting tattooed. However, the end result? When I was about 14 or 15, I got a tattoo of a, a gang symbol on my forearm, and I got a picked and poked in, in a similar like manner before I even knew. I'm listen, I'm 14, 15 now. I don't know nothing about this shit. This is off the strength. And literally, I got it for rank. You know what I'm saying? Literally. That's why I say, man, it's a... We ain't game banging. It's a way of life, man. And we didn't even know that we inherited. This was our heritage. Man, the white man is the devil. We need to get him in off of us. French, Spanish, English, German, uh, uh, Jewish, Irish, get the fuck around. Same person that's bringing up this video, even though this is for educational reasons. Even this white boy here on the side, even these people faking like they're Native Americans. Get the fuck on. This white boy is the Tinnaqua village usually numbered anywhere from 50 to 300 members. They lived in small huts only around 25 feet in diameter. The Tinnaqua preferred to spend their time outside, usually huddling inside the huts only to sleep at night or during stormy weather. Villages incorporated a larger building provided for ceremonies, meetings, dances, and community celebrations. They also cooked and ate meals together in a central location in the village. There is much evidence that suggests that Timofar enjoyed leisurely activities, including playing ball games, practicing archery, and going to the beach for picnics. Each village had a chief who reported up to a regional chief. The chief of the village lived in their own hut, bigger than the other huts, but still relatively small by our standards. The chief's hut had three or four bedrooms, and he or she was also given extra provisions. That's not no straight hair on top. One of the most powerful chiefs was Chief Altina. He is seen here in this painting. That's the nigga the edges in the front. The principal method of transportation was by a dugout canoe. These dugout canoes were about 18 feet long and could carry 15 to 20 individuals. Jacksonville's present-day downtown area was the site of one of the largest villages of pre-Columbian times. The village was called Ossipite. It was large in size and in importance. Because of the many waterways in Jacksonville, many artisans lived in the village and traded with tribes as far north as the Great Lakes. The Timucua tribe's location lent itself to be a multifaceted society fishing, hunting, and gathering. The Timucua fished for sea life and hunted alligators as well. They ate oysters and clams and created middens or shell heaps. This is an image in Gainesville, Florida. The city that we in right now. The University of Florida logo is the gator. Go and watch my uh, Gainesville, Florida description and the Wikipedia. Like many of the other tribes in pre Columbian Florida. Look carefully. Can you spot the Timpa? They used to wear deer skin to camouflage themselves while hunting. By deer skin, I mean the entire deer, antlers and all. In addition to hunting and fishing, the Timpa also went into agriculture. They planted berries, corn, and many other plants. They had the most well-rounded diet of all pre columbian tribes in Florida. Another innovation the Tenafla developed was the ability to smoke meat. They would hunt and then smoke the meat. I'm coming out with the next video, man. But these, all these so-called Indians are like none are different. Just got different tactics, some of your life, whatever, whatever, back at you. 